So what happens with stress? The, the lower esophageal sphincter, as a matter of fact, most of the sphincters that have to do with motion and egress out of things, so the pyloric sphincter and the sphincter of Odi, there's a number of different sphincters in your GI tract, but they're all controlled by your vagus nerve, which is your longest cranial nerve. So the vagus nerve, its integrity is really, really important for normal GI function. So what's, what offsets your vagus nerve is being highly stressed, being in that fight or flight type of issue with your nervous system. So, um, and I know, you know handling stress is not the easiest thing in the world, but figuring out where it's coming from and, and what you can do to address it. I'm gonna mention hormones a little bit later, uh, but it's important because when you're in that high stress, high, you know, fight or flight, your vagus nerve is compromised. But interestingly enough, they call that the rest, digest, relax part of your nervous system. So you're restful, you're getting good sleep, you're relaxed, you're not under a lot of stress, and now you can digest. So that's the happy times for, for the vagus nerve. You do, but if you're just perennially in this sympathetic uh, part of your nervous system, your vagus nerve is gonna get compromised, and then your ability to digest because you know, these valves are not working is also going to be compromised. So uh, getting good sleep, trying to get mindful about where your stress load is coming from and what you can do to get more at cause over that is very key. Uh, next is dietary things.